Sherry Priest, who is the author of the steampunk novel Bone Shaker. So Sherry, um, how did you first become interested in steampunk? Uh, well, the truth is, I've been interested in steampunk for a, a very long time. I was a, uh, a bit of an el of a goth in my younger days, and there's a lot of overlap. I, I think probably Tim Burton is the gateway drug for many people, <laughs> because there, there's so much great uh, grim clockwork style going on in a lot of his movies. And um, so kind of from there, it, it, it began to evolve. Your book has Frontier Seattle as its setting. So what kind of historical tidbits did you like to incorporate <laughs> in your writing? Oh, I, I love to play with real history. Because the truth is, um, things that have really happened are so much weirder than anything I could make up. Uh, for example, there is a, in Seattle they have an underground tour. And it, it, to make a very long story as short as humanly possible, the city was originally built on a tidal flat. And it burned down in um, 1889. And when they rebuilt the city, they raised the street level. It, 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 it was a complicated, messy thing that took a dozen years. But the, the end result was there was an underground through dozens of blocks of Seattle where there was um, uh, drugs and prostitution and opium dens and, and all kinds of, of terrible, awful things. But also, it was kind of the world's first underground mall. <laughs> and there's skylights built into the sidewalks. and, and um, so obviously I was, I was inspired by the underground when I started doing Bone Shaker and I've taken the tour so many times at this point that they've offered me a job three times <laughs> and I, it, I just love it. It's my favorite thing to take people to when, when they come through the city. You've got to write about airship pirates, mad scientists and you know, zombie survivalists. So out of all the sorts of characters that are in the book, well, who is the most fun to write about? Princess Angeline was definitely one of the most fun because although in real life she was, you know, this this eccentric elderly lady by the time of uh, the events in this book, I thought, you know, let's make her let's make her totally cool. Let's make her absolutely kick ass, you know. So she's she's a cross dressing, knife throwing, you know, basically warrior princess, and I thought that was so much fun to do. Bone Shaker also has an undead component, uh, you know, with a uprising of zombies. Why do you think uh, zombies are such a hot ticket in sci-fi right now? Zombies are lots of fun because they're very post-apocalyptic and that is something that's very interesting to a lot of people right now. I, I think it ties into uh, the rise of technology that's getting away from us. Like we, we, we are so dependent upon a grid. We're so dependent upon our iPhones and our GPS and all of these exciting things. And, and it's, it's, well, if that grid goes away, what do you do? And zombie stories aren't just descriptive, they're prescriptive. They tell you how to behave. They tell you how to survive. Like when the grid goes down, when everything is against you, when all you have are your wits and what you can scavenge, well, what do you do? This is how you live. This is how you proceed. Your upcoming book uh, that's coming up pretty soon, Dreadnought, uh, would you like to clue us in a bit more about what that's about? Uh, again, without any spoilers, um, there is a young woman who is a nurse at the Robertson Hospital in Rich Richmond, Virginia, which was a real place. Her name is Vanita May Swackhammer Lynch, and she has found out recently that she is widowed, which, bad enough. But then she gets a telegram from Tacoma, actually, saying that her father has met with a terrible accident, and uh, he's afraid he might be dying, and he wants to see his long-lost daughter one last time. So she makes her way west. All she knows is that if she can make it to Tacoma, somebody named Sheriff Wilkes will pick her up and take her to Seattle to see her father. And so this is... And it's not just a travelogue. I mean, we have we have steampunk Texas Rangers and undead Mexican separatists, and uh, lots of crazy politicking, and, and yes, the zombies. There's at least one more book coming from the Clockwork Century series. Uh, we have two more in the works, actually. One of them is due November 1st, so I'm still working on that one. It will be the follow-up to Gan uh, to Dreadnought. It's called Ganymede. Hunley, uh, the man who kind of designed the first submarine, did several um, prototypes before he actually had the fun functioning Hunley. Uh, and then one of them was called the Pioneer, I believe, and it was scuttled on Lake Ponchar Train. But, but he did his developmental work in New Orleans uh, before the Yankees took the city. So in my version of things, uh, he was kind of allowed to keep inventing and keep trying. So we have version 4.0 <laughs> of his submarine, and it's something that this time actually works. My name is Sherry Priest, and you can find my books at the Science Fiction Book Club at sfbc.com.